Hello, this is Moon Goddess 114433. I am here to do the Sagittarius reading. If you're new to my page, welcome. <laughs> so this reading is the new moon in Libra. Venus has, re has went retro and how it's going to affect your relationship. So when Venus goes in retro, um, it's pretty much supposed to affect your relationships negatively. But we're going to see about that. <laughs> so most of the time I do readings for Twin Flame Soulmate Connections. So Sagittarius, that would be Sun, Moon, or Rising. Let's see if we can get a fix on what's going on with your relationship. Spirit, can we get some cards on what's going on with Sagittarius's relationship, please? Not a good shuffle right there. Sagittarius's relationship. So, Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Hermit card. So let me look and see what I'm getting with these cards here. So, usually the Eight of Cards is this side, okay, with this cloaked figure in the background walking away from these Eight of Cups, going towards the sunlight, going towards the mountains and the horizon, but with this vice versa deck, you got this, this side. Now, in this card, we have this child who's in white, which I'm um, taking represents innocence. So he's sitting kind of in the shadows, just looking at these eight cups that are, they're bent, busted, broken up cups. Now cups represent emotions and feelings. So this child has went through a lot of heartbreak and turmoil and and see there's a falling star just like I 
this little boy, his face, he's just looking at these cups like, it's his face is like, what did I do to deserve this? So I'm taking that maybe as a child you went through you went through some things even as a child um, maybe you felt abandoned maybe cuz these cups are um battered and bent and broken up and maybe you went through some type of abuse you went through something that hurt your inner child that hurt you as a child and um, whoever this is resonating for this is not this reading I'm getting this is not gonna read for everybody this is not gonna resonate with everybody um, I'm getting this is for this is for specific Sagittarius. Um, whoever this is, you've you've went through some childhood trauma, some kind of childhood abuse. Um, you've went through your battles. You you've been broken up, bloodied, bruised. <clears throat> but somehow you came out of that because you see this you see it somehow you came out of that you may look all that blood everywhere it's just and all that smoke rising you went through hell but you rose up out of it like a majestic queen and now you see this queen just sits on this throne of rock <clears throat> now the swords represent clarity and insight intelligence cunning and you may be all of those things but because you went through all of this your heart is stone and I, I'm sorry I know this is not uh, these aren't what these cards normally mean but this is what I'm intuitively being told to say at this time for these these cards um, this is for someone in particular. And now, with this relationship, you're in this relationship now. And here's the Hermit card, but what I'm getting is with this light here, this light with a snake wrapped around it, and then there's a snake going around his pole here, you're going through enlightenment. You're going through an awakening. I'm going to tell you. It's not easy. For this hell that you've been through. You've got. You've got to get through that. You've got to work it out. But it's for your good. Oh, this is heavy. So let me set these aside. So for the other, um, astrological signs I've been doing like relationship his mind space her mind space blah 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 
not feeling led to do this with you. Give me some oracle cards for guidance for Sagittarius. Okay, so you're going through a lot of anxiety because you are walking away from things that no longer serve you. These, all these old pain, all this old pain, everything that you have stored up. Everything you've bottled up inside. It's having to come out. All the stone is having to be broken up. Because it doesn't serve you. And it causes anxiety when you, when you have to work through these issues. It causes anxiety. It does. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. Um, but it's best for you to purge this negativity, to let it go, and to walk away from it so you can be healed. So your heart chakra can open. So you can receive love. So you can know that you are worthy of love. That you, so you can know that you are, you are capable of giving love. So look at the hands. So giving. Able to give. Able to receive. <clears throat> the heart open. And you know you want that. And the best way to do that, the best way for you to heal and to purge and to go with is to go within. Meditate. Learn how to relax your mind <clears throat> to align your mind, body, and soul. This is what you need. This is your advice from spirit. I'm going to use a whispers 
of healing oracle card for you. I've only used it for one other one other astrological sign so far that I've started recording. So when you have a hard day of purging and emotional issues coming up, um, one of the best things that I have found that helps is um, if you listen to some frequencies, there are frequencies, um, different hertz um, help with different um, <coughs> chakra cleanses. <clears throat> listening to some Buddhist um, meditations, listening to different mantras. Another good thing to do is you can take one pound of sea salt with one pound of baking soda and put that in your bath water and make your bath water as comfortable as you like it, the temperature wise and put the salt and the soda in there <clears throat> and soak in that water that water helps to release negativity from from your energy and while you're doing that you can listen to some frequencies and some meditations relax and learn to just let it go and let it flow and then when you get done and you feel like you've been in there long enough, release the water and stay in there while the water is draining. So you can feel the negativity and everything just draining away with the water. And the card you got, wow, you got release. So she's coming in like a storm cloud. And look, from her fingers is lightning bolts. She's releasing all that pent up anger. In her hair, she's got red, orange, yellow, purple, just all these different colors. All this pent up anger, resentment, hurt, pain, roiling up inside of you. It's coming up. It's purging. You've been crying. You've been fighting it. You've been trying. You don't even want to feel these emotions. You don't want to feel it. You don't want to deal with it. But Spirit says, release it. Get you somewhere where you're by yourself and cry it out. You have to release it. Let it out. And then once you let it out, you're going to meditate. You're going to go within. You're going to rest and rejuvenate. You're going to go through your healing because you're going to be okay. Sagittarius, I really hope this helped you. If it resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I hope, um, I wish you the best love, light, and much abundance for the rest of October. Namaste.